Images here, https colon slash slash www.dropbox.com slash sh slash barrage 6 c61 slash arc jibok new 2 jl 4s piolva. dl equals zero. Stand first. Tony Roper's simple place out in a wash house on Hogmanay, the steamy, is set to go large at the hydro. It will be bigger and better, he tells Sandra Dick. The man who gave Scotland the steamy, the post-war snapshot of Hogmanay and the wash house with its colourful characters, their crushed hopes and optimistic dreams, is remembering the Glasgow of his youth. None of us had any money, says actor and writer Tony Roper. The men all had a drink at the weekend, no one had cars. Visiting relatives in Drum Chapel was like having a mini-break in the countryside. Then, he adds matter-of-factly, was the time his mum whacked his father with a flat iron, drawing blood. He was lying on the floor with blood streaming and my mother shouting for the police to come. When they arrived, she said her husband had assaulted her, while he was the one lying on the floor with blood pouring. As for his aunt, her remembers her dying lonely, wondering why her son had drifted off and rarely took time to get in touch. We knew what life was about, he continues. I don't mean that as a badge of bravery, it's just how we grew up. It hardly sounds like these were particularly idyllic times. Some might wonder if they might have been better forgotten. And yet such is the misty-eyed fondness for times gone by, for a touch of Glasgow patter and for Roper's lovable hard-working characters, inspired by women like his no-nonsense mother and desperately lonely aunt, that his phenomenally successful play, The Steamy, is set to perform to its largest live audiences ever, three decades after it was written. Having witnessed the record-breaking success of Still Game Live, actor and writer Roper, 78, is now preparing to direct a spectacular version of his 1987 play on the cavernous stage of the SSE Hydro. For six shows climaxing with a final poignant performance in the dying hours of 2019, up to 13,000 people per show will be drawn into a tiny Glasgow wash house with the action focused on just four stalls where four women scrub away the old year's grime ready for a fresh start. Roper says the Hydro's steamy will be a pumped up, Supersize version of the same familiar simple play, first performed in a small 300-seat theatre, and which a generation grew up watching on television as the clock ticked down the final moments of the old year. Transforming it, however, pushed his team to become more inventive than he imagined. I thought at first we can't do this, explains Roper, who has worked on the new version with producer Neil Laidlaw. The play is set around four stalls in a steamy. We weren't sure that it would work in such a huge venue, those stalls would be lost in there. For months he's worked with a team that for more on this story, visit the news article link.